Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saki here, and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. And when we last left off, we had another really good race in Phoenix, second and fourth, and we got the sponsor objectives. So we actually made a lot of money for doing such things as those. And we move on to Dubai. Once again, we don't have to worry about rain, which is very good for the strategy. A very low tire wear, so I'll be practicing on the uh, super softs here. Um, not going to be qualifying too much on super softs. I want to save those for the race, so I'll probably be qualifying on regular softs. I don't know if that will bode well in the grand scheme of things as far as a lineup goes, but we it is what it is. Looking at the cars, we have a few... Whoops, that's the headquarters. Looking at the cars, we can improve some of the parts, and with this brand new cash flow and $12 million, it might not be a bad idea to get another part. Uh, we are doing okay on the engine. We're seventh overall. Uh, gearbox, we're suffering a bit. So we probably need to build another gearbox, let's say. Acceleration 25 to max, and then acceleration, reliability, we don't care. Ooh, massive 1035 on that. That is going to be really, really good. Yeah, let's build that. So $900,000 in the research and development for that new gearbox, uh, but it will bode well for us, I think. A lot of the tracks use that gearbox. I mean, obviously everyone does, uh, but you know, as far as what the track says is important, especially coming up to Guilford, Singapore, Arden, you know, we've got a string of three or four races where that uh, gearbox is going to be very important. Speaking of important, we need to top off any parts that we can. We have full brakes there. All well and good. Uh, let's see. We're still working on that spoiler. It's 64%. Uh, let's continue working on some of these parts. Uh, let's work on that engine, or these brakes here. Engine, let's work on the 82. And let's work on the gearbox 83. So we don't have to spend too much time uh, getting the next gearbox up and going. We can just put that one in straight away. And, of course, we will make sure that everyone is focusing on improving those parts. Um, I think what I'll do is I will, right after this Vancouver race, swap up some of the parts. Okay, let's pause it there. Let, let's work half and half, shall we? So 77% on the spoiler isn't bad. We're at 88 and 89 on that stuff. We want to make sure that... Uh, that we can strip some of these parts. So the suspension for sure. Uh, let's go with the um, spoiler. And let's go with the what else, what else, what else? Uh, 88s, 85s. Yeah, private 85. Let's continue working on those so we can strip, um, strip some of the weight down. Dubai, 0% chance of rain. And the helipad. Look, our sponsors are not good enough to require a helipad. Look, dude, I just made $2.5 million in the last race. I think I'm good financially, for crying out loud. Speaking of which, sponsors, after this race, next episode will have two sponsors to pick, slot five and two. That is all well and good. So, traveling to Dubai. All right, let's look at the mail here. Mia takes up snowboard snowmobile racing? Nice adaptability and marketability right before the sponsor for 20 weeks. That is going to be outstanding. I like it. Good job, Mia, doing uh, doing the stuff. All right, so third or above. Can we do third or above? It gives us a little bit of wiggle room, and I think we might be able to get third or above. It basically means that Team Purple is going to have to uh, have a bad day if we're guaranteed. We can either basically get 800 guaranteed thousand or, you know, might squeeze in. You know, if we qualify third, then we've already made more money than we were going to. So I like that approach. Third or above is where we're going. Parts should be all fitted and ready to go. Yes, indeed. All right, so do we give... Yeah, let's flip Mia and give her the better spoiler. Now that that is race ready and ready to go, that'll be good. And then we can shave some uh, shave some of that off for Enrica uh, to get that bonus. So looking pretty good on the parts, I would say. 
Yep. So let's go to Dubai. I will see you after qualifying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we qualified first and third and we managed to get through Q2 on regular soft tires. So we should be able to go the distance out uh, driving these guys in the first stint, setting us up to pit fewer times, maybe possibly fingers crossed. And I did keep enough uh, super softs in reserve that are fresh to go the distance. So let's see what we can do here. We've got, of course, Hammer AMR right to our outside. So Team Purple is always, you know, barking right up our tree as they tend to do. That We're sort of staggered here, but we're going to get on our horse here. They're on some chewed up tires. Looks like Enrica kind of botched the start there. She kind of brake checked her teammate a bit, but leave it to uh, Mia. She is not going to stand by. There she goes passing for the lead and off she goes. Uh, and Mia is a passing beast. She will pass people like they are standing still and that's good to see. Uh, we're also, we're running on better tires, so if they do start pushing these soft tires, they're going to have to pit really quick. And if they're not within their window, we can actually stretch it out. So I don't know what Enrica's problem is. Uh, don't know what that's all about, but Mia, of course, Team Purple, shot to the front. We need them to run wide and, and crash is what we need to do. Uh, not to wish ill on our competitors, but it would uh, certainly be nice if they did such things as these. Let's go ahead and ride fourth and third. Certainly not bad. Well within our sponsor objective of third. Safety car is leaving the garage. Should we pit? I think everyone else is going to be pitting. We would be screwed if we decided to stay out. So how about this? If Enrica can stay out and Mia can pit for her soft tires, I don't know exactly how long the super softs will last. That's going to be the big question here. Um, if anyone had already pitted, they'll stay out and leapfrog us. So this is why I love the safety car. It throws a, a big dynamic in the thing where the entire field is going to be bottlenecked up and will not lose hardly any ground if we come to pit road. So uh, we might not even add fuel. We may just do a tire change and try to make up track position on pit road or it wouldn't be too awful much to top off. That's another thing to consider. Uh, we could stack them up and get them both on their super soft tires and go from there. Let's see, what does Enrica have? She's got two sets of super soft tires. I don't think two sets of super softs will last all 21 laps. Oh man, that is um, 10 laps on the super softs. It says they can do it. I mean, I'm not sure. I really am not sure. Do we stack them up? Do we fill up one and not the other? I mean, Enrica is in fourth and hold on to your britches here. Enrica's in, Mia's in third, Enrica's in fourth, and they will be coming in nose to tail. So if we pit with Mia and get her on fresh super softs, and not fill her up. That's seven laps. We're not making the most of our tires if that is the case. We could bolt on these soft tires here and then do a double super soft last stint. That may be a thing. Although I'd be giving up 15% for a super soft bonus. Oh man, decisions, decisions. This is why I'm not a pit crew in the Cup Series. Oh, man. We have a good set of softs to put on. Or we keep one out and pit the other. Because Mia will have really no problem driving back through. Well, I mean, she's leading the points, too. Let's keep Enrica out. And I think Mia may be better as far as getting through the field. So yeah, we are going to tell 
both of our drivers to back up and go low. That way they are uh, right behind the safety car, or will do. And hopefully we can get caught back up. All right, me on pit road. Who else is coming? Just a few. All right, so Mia will come out 14th. Enrica will stay in second. Tanaka is the one that crashed, unfortunately. Not our arch nemesis. But we will be on fresh tires. We're leading this group. And I think Enrica should be okay to keep going. That way she don't have to pit when uh, Mia does. Mia can try to keep these tires lasting longer. And we might be okay. It's just going to all come down to pit strategy, really. 19th is getting caught back up to the field. Safety car is heading to the garage this time by. So Mia's got some work to do, but she'll have the tires to do it. Enrica can just do what she's going to do. Hopefully stay out there in, uh, in second. And it looks like maybe Team Purple did the same thing. They got out, just did a tires only stop and got back in the middle of the field it looked like. So they pitted for their regular soft tires. We'll just have to see what tire wear looks like here. All right, Enrica can push. Mia can go neutral, and let's go medium and medium. Get ready for the start here. Safety car should duck off, and we should be back racing. There we go, and Mia will make short work of all of these guys in front, and that is a mistake pitting now. Why in the world would you pit when the safety car is leaving? I mean, the whole world is going to start passing you. Yes, you can get past Zanata. You have fresher tires, Mia. You have the drive. Let's see you do it. Yeah, let's have her push a little bit, get the tires up to temperature here. Yeah, if she can go to the next fuel run, that would be ideal. Enrica is out front leading. That is pretty impressive. Enrica is taking no prisoners. She's got better tire wear than Minzy and Tyler, who are on the old Super Softs. Naito is on an old set of mediums. It's just going to be up to Mia to try to work her way back through traffic here. And Enrica might be an unsung hero. All right, go back to neutral. Save those tires a bit. You're starting to melt the bead. We definitely don't want to do that. We want to go as far as we can on these tires. Mia is up to 12th, and she is setting sights. Let's have her go neutral and save those tires a bit. Maybe she might be able to make up some spots. It just depends. She can leapfrog all of these people uh, on pit road if they decide to pit, but where that puts us in the grand strategy, uh, that is another issue. And it is a shame that Team Purple, I mean, Giuliani's back here too. In fact, Mia is doing a better job than Giuliani. All right, cars behind us are starting to pit. I see one car on fire back there. I'm not sure exactly who it is, but Enrica will stay out a few more laps. 15 laps to go. If we split this seven and seven, that would be ideal because I think she's got um, fresh super soft, two sets of fresh super softs waiting in the wings. All right, go ahead and pit super softs on. Go ahead and fill up. 14 second pit stop. Nope, you shouldn't take easy. You should pit. All right, so where does that put Mia? On 52% tires. Up to second. All right, Enrique is filled, down and away. Off she goes. And she's got some empty track in front of her. And yeah, the safety car really split the difference here. We're 4.9 behind Cruz, who looks to be on the same strategy we are. Yellow flag, no overtaking in sector two. So another crash. Dr Dreyfus is out. Still not a purple car. But like I said, I mean, we're... We're, we're trying to get into the points. Our two cars are right next to each other. One and two and eight and nine. We'll lose some points as it stands. But we should be okay. So 4.3 behind. Can we go a few more laps? 12 to go. 
The further we can go in this run, the further we can go on that last super soft run. We've got two laps in the tank. So we'll make it on fuel. It's just a question of can we fill up the tank enough to get in there? That is the question. Leader is pitting. We're not going to turn up the engine. We made up a lot of ground there. All right, Mia, go ahead and pit. Get on your super softs. And there will be 10 laps to go. Oh, that is... We may have to turn down the engine when she gets to pit road. That is going to be tight. Very tight indeed. With seven laps to go, we'll pit uh, Enrique as well. So that's going to be laps, or lap 17. So we can keep running that. I know, Mia, you're good. Come on to pit road this time, girl. And pack that thing full of fuel. There we go, down the way, and if, uh, if we're okay, then we do not have to pit again. Mia will be fine. In fact, we could probably conserve the tires just a little bit if need be. I want to make sure we have enough super softs under us to finish the race. All right, nine laps to go. Let's go ahead and push what we've got here. Enrica will go ahead and pit for her last super softs. Eight laps left in the race. 8.5, 10 seconds. And she'll be making her last stop. So a two-stop race for us. And if Mia can hold out, she's running in fifth and will not have to stop again. That is going to be amazing if we can pull this off. All right, Enrica down on pit road. Tires are on. Fuel is in, no mistakes. And she can pretty much push the tires. So yeah, Mia holding, holding station, Enrica in 14th. Hopefully some of these guys in front of her will have to pit. That is the question, but she can keep pushing. There's only a scant few laps to go. Seven to go, 80% on the tires. That's what I like to see. We could probably go up to neutral. Just don't cook them, please. And we're coming in line for our fuel mode. Enrique's got excess fuel as well. Uh, Mia will not have a push to pass button, essentially. She's uh, going to have to ride the engine mode exactly where she is. Six laps to go and 6.3 in the tank with 71 left on the tires. Feeling pretty good in the neighborhood. We don't have to push at all. Mia can't, or Enrique can. Yeah, with her tires the way they are, she's running up in fifth. Feeling pretty good. I think we stretched those tires out enough. We're 0.7 behind. Five laps to go, 64% on the tires, 5.3 in the tank. So Mia is on, on track to do it. There she goes for the pass and the lead. Bergman has crashed. So no passing in sector one. Mia lost a few spots, but Trenowith should be easy pickings. Should be. Four laps to go. 4.5 in the tank and 56% on the tires. Yeah, Mia can cruise. She is not coming down to pit road anymore. We're going to beat Cruz. As long as Mia does not screw up, we're going to keep her on balance. Here comes Enrica chasing them down. 45% left on the tires. Let's go neutral here. Third is pitting. Outstanding. So Enrica doesn't even really have to push. Three laps to go. Cars on pit road. We need Cruz to pit. That would be, that would be impressive. Tell you what. Enrica, you are running well. Just conserve. Conserve. Bring those tire temperatures back down to earth, please. Until we hit two to go. All right, go neutral. Two to go. 3.6 left in the tank for Enrica. She can definitely defend. Let's go high. High engine burn. I know you're struggling. Hang on to it if you can. Just keep the tires under you, Enrica, please. 
Conserve. Final lap, 17% on the tires. Low tire wear. Mia is good. Mia has set sail. That's what I like to see, but we need Enrica to maintain pace. She's on chewed up tires. She needs to come around. Just a few more corners to go. That's what I'm talking about, Enrica. Left him in the dust. Mia with the win. And Enrica will come across the line in third. So a very good job. Second was going to pit. Cruz was going to pit, but we made up a lot of points here. Second and seventh versus first and third. Maybe we got the fastest lap bonus as well with Enrica really pushing. That would be a really good day for us for sure. I'm feeling really good. Really good about this season, and we don't even have the good gearbox in. Like, we are picking them up and laying them down. We, we even have more parts to strip, if need be. Tell you, Mia was on it saving that fuel. That won us the race. Her able to, to save that fuel like that. An 11-lap stint on Super Sauce. Of course, we didn't break any rules. It'd be nice if Team Purple did. Just saying, no. Lissandro, no. I want to get the fastest lap, boo boo bee boo. So 16 versus 12. So we gain four points on him. Driver points should be outstanding. Yeah, Mia is leading the championship. Enrica in third, tied for third with Lissandro. And as far as constructors go, we're up by five. With near nearing halfway. We've left these people in the dust. It's us versus Hammer. And it's going to be good. But we got maximum payday. Good thing I took that. That uh, kept more money in our pocket. Hopefully we can get a good contingency sponsor that pays for like sixth or above, let's say. That way we don't have to go for broke and win every single race. But it's certainly nice to finish in the top three consistently. That is for sure. And we only have more parts to strip and more parts to build on top of it. So as long as our drivers are solid... We're, we're going to do well. Yeah, mass, ma maximum morale, maximum happiness from the chairman. Marketability should be up way higher. We're leading the International GT Series, and sponsors are like, meh, no, nah, not interested. That leaves us $10 million in the bank uh, to continue on. And we have two sponsors left to sign at the start of the next race, so hopefully a nice influx of cash. Uh, also, five weeks until the forecasting center is done, but the race in the United Kingdom is 17 days away, so two weeks. Uh, where is our rain chance? 17, 19, 19. This is where our forecasting center is going to come in handy. Enrica on the pole. Here's our interview. Um, Giuliani had a disaster. Their team looks weak. Their team looks very weak. Hammer is suffering. That's why I like to see. All right, no mistakes. And a hard-fought win for Mia. But that is going to do it for me in this episode of Motorsport Manager. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next race where we head to Guilford. Take care.